Hi, I'm Katie Chuhan Wan, a rising senior in Emma Willard School. And today I would like to share a journey of exploration and discovery that has been at the heart of my academic and extracurricular pursuits. As an art student in classic oil painting, I've always been captivated by the intricate connection between art and feminism. This, fasc this fascination led me to initially delve deep into the realm of feministic art in China, where the two realms converge in complex and often unexpected ways. And stemming from these interests, I started researching about those artistic expressions that challenge conventions and simulate important conversations about women's role about women's roles and rights within the evolving Chinese context. Throughout this journey, I've been fortunate to receive guidance and support from Professor Thompson. From the, from the very beginning of our meetings and discussions, she has filled me in with what is happening in feminism today and before, including critical articles in the gender studies field, and provided me with lots of scholarly articles that tacked on the very topics I'm interested in. These resources, I believe, have been the cornerstone of building a solid foundation for my later research. <coughs> At the core of my paper lies the central theme of how Yu Hong's art navigates the intricate relationship between feminism and, and contemporary Chinese society. Her artwork is a mirror reflecting the evolving roles of women and the challenges they face. And it's fascinating to see how her creations challenge norms and amplifies the voices of women while keeping herself aligned with the general public. As she, as she called herself, she will never call herself a feminist because she wouldn't fight for, fem for feminists for her life. <laughs> Among which there is a very interesting paradox in Yu Hong that I observed. It is this title, Feministic Artist. And thus, I started a more specific research surrounding this theme. In terms, of data, in terms of gathering data, my process has been a comprehensive one. Uh, I've sourced numerous articles, research papers, journals, and uh, even comments dis discussing Rui Hong's artworks. On the left, is the initial process of me doing data gathering where I had to open millions of, do of articles, docs, newspapers, journals, and read every one of them to see if they matches my topic. And these resources indeed have provided a wealth of perspectives, opinions, and insights into her work. Then I collected them into a single charts which is indicated on the right, where I can directly compare them. And the biggest theme in this research is the comparison between the Chinese media's interpretation of her work and her role as an artist and Yu Hong's of herself. And generally, the, me the Chinese media always tends to, categor to categorize Yu Hong as a feministic artist. However, as indicated, uh, above, Yu Hong does not categorize herself as that. During the process of researching and writing, one of the biggest challenges I've faced was during the initial phase of my research, where I had difficulty uh, pinpointing a specific topic within the expensive realm of feministic art in China. It is simply too, too big. As I grappled with the vastness of this subject, I found myself in a quandary, struggling to distill my interests into a focused and coherent re research direction. I found myself to have so many interested topics, uh, ideas, and mm, just themes, but sometimes they couldn't, they couldn't connect themselves. So it was during this time that Professor Thompson's guidance became really helpful. Realizing this issue, she stepped in, providing me with a range of potential ideas that connected these topics and could serve as the focal point of my study. 
During our discussions, her suggestion not only helped me overcome my initial stumbling block, but also showcased the benefits of uh, collaborative mentorship. This experience really taught me the importance of seeking guidance and collaboration, especially when I'm on an academic journey. Mm, and so far underca- undertaking this research really has expanded my horizons in the realm of feminist studies. As an art student, my initial interaction with feminism was through artistic expressions. However, delving into the scholarly landscape of feminism for the first time has been a, transform- has been a transformative experience. <laughs> Navigating through academic articles, research papers, and commentaries has allowed me to grasp the intricacies and nuances of feminist theory and its real-world implications. So for this time, it is finally there, in front of me, whereas whereas before, it was either words on the paper or it was thoughts in my mind. (laughs) This process has not only enriched my understanding of feminism, feminism's historical evolution but i believe has also provided me with the tools to critically analyze its various dimensions and most importantly i believe the value of this study lies in the fact that i was able to take an objective overview of the development and discussions of feminism in china which is something i previously i previously hadn't had a chance to do Since I am more familiar with Western feminism and its theories due to my studies abroad, and also most of my professors, teachers, are also familiar with Western discourses, I also realize this importance of understanding my own country and what is happening in the land where I grew up. (laughs) And these are some of the artworks painted by Yu Hon, and they are all my favorites. In essence, I believe this journey has been a collaborative effort of narrowing down, uh, refining, and it's um, nine o'clock. And ultimately embracing a topic that resonates with me deeply. <laughs> Yu Hon's art and her journey are my guiding light since I'm very young, and I'm very grateful for Professor Thompson's support and guidance along the way. Uh, to wrap up, I believe that this research has fundamentally broadened my artistic perspective. And again, I'm an art student and these are the works I've been creating for the past year. And I believe that this research enriches my understanding of how art can be a powerful voice for societal change. Just as what I've showed in my artwork, I use my emotion and my feministic side to support me in doing art. Armed with this knowledge, I'm more than eager to infuse my future creations with a deeper meaning using my art to highlight important social issues and advocate for positive transformations. Uh, Lastly, in regard for my academic studies, this, re- this experience has ignited a newfound passion for scholarly inquiry. Engaging with scholarly articles, critically analyzing various perspectives, have sharpened my research and analytical skills. And this experience has not only deepened my appreciation for the intellectual dimensions of my field, but has also opened doors to potential academic pursuits. I mean, there's so many topics, themes, and ideas to be addressed in gender studies, and I believe that I will find the one that suits me the most. So, I am really inspired to further explore the dynamic relationship between art and var- and various social cultural aspects. Thank you. Yes you can speak a little bit about Mm -hmm. how your analysis of another artist Mm -hmm. and her way of talking 
about feminism in relation mm-hmm. to her art, mm-hmm. if analyzing that relationship mm-hmm. um, is going to inform how you talk about your own art? Mm, so first of all, I think I believe I'm different from you, home because uh, it's both in our art and also our uh, how we recognize ourselves because mm-hmm. I do recognize myself as a feminist artist and in my perception uh, something related with ism doesn't always have to be very extreme or violent to an mm-hmm. extent to an extent that as Rihon said herself where you sacrifices your life but um, I believe I believe that for me, uh, it is a way of living. It is your mindset. It is what your heart and your mind tells you to. And that is what my heart and my brain, my mind tells me that I am here to advocate for women to, and to voice out for the ones who couldn't speak. And I think that is one of the main theme of me creating art, whereas uh, for Yu Hong, when I analyze when I analyze her, her artwork, I found out that her artwork is mainly about recording life. It's about recording herself and also the people surrounding her. It is a way for her to portray to portray uh, the feminine space for Chinese for Chinese women. And I do like her approach of kind of doing of a. Uh, presenting women's situation subtly and in a more wilder and in, in a more milder way but for me I believe that in, and also from this analysis I kind of can clearly see this difference between me and Yu Hong where my work is more about emotion because this is the motivation this is what I this is why I wanted to paint because I want to convert this emotion, whether it's angry, it's sadness, it's um, pain, I want to convert them into a source of energy for me in creating art and also advocating for feminism. And I believe that this is a very crucial element for to promote feminism in China, because I feel like this is what the Chinese society is lacking for now. People are, uh, are are really just not doing, most of them, like some of them are just not doing anything. They let the society make them feel numb and they accept what is given to them. And I feel like, and also sometimes I kind of can see that from Yu Hong's artwork. For example, in one of her piece, uh, in the uh, growing, witnessing to growth. Uh, let me see if I had it here. I think of, it, I think it wasn't here, but it was one that I've seen in person. She kind of just portrayed how uh, women were facing like disadvantages in in uh, the society and specifically in career, and then in her. In that work, she was still portraying men as like this tall and overarching object. But I do feel like sometimes art could can be not too realistic because if it's too realistic, people and people will like the more the more realistic paintings people like the more people see the more they kind of accept in their mindset. And I feel like for me, something I would do differently from for my in the future is that I would like to portray this uh, discrepancy between men and be, between gender and within gender, between men and women in Chinese context more directly.